Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how you can set your iPad up to read things to you. You can either set it up to read an entire page or you can set it up to only read a certain um, passage or whatever you select. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into settings. And boys and girls, if you are the ones that are doing this, please only adjust the settings that we are talking about right now. So once you go into settings, you are going to go to accessibility and look for spoken content. And then these are the two that you want to switch on. They may already be on. I'm not sure. Some may and some may not. So you're actually going to click speak selection. That's the one that I suggest that you um, do. I wouldn't suggest that you click speak, speak screen, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works. Um, just in case you ever need it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn both of mine on. Um, the rest of this you won't really need, so we'll just go back and get out of settings. So I'm in, this is, here is my writing. Now this will not work on a PDF, and I don't think it will work within Seesaw unless your uh, teacher has linked you out to somewhere on the web, but it will work for anything on the web. So basically what you're going to do is if you're needing to read this and you're not sure or if you want it to be read to you, all you have to do is long press anywhere until you get that little blue shaded area. And then you're going to drag it. This is speak selection. So I have now um, copied all that entire area. And then the menu that pops up, you've got copy, look up, speak, and share. You want to click speak. Elephants are mammals of the family Elephantidae and the largest existing land animals. Three species are currently recognized. The African bush elephant, the African forest elephant. Okay, and I'm going to push pause to, just to get rid of that. So you can see how it happens. Now, it could be that you only need one word. So let's say that you are not sure about this word. Well, let me see if I can. And I just want to know what that word is. Distinctive. So you can hear distinctive. It tells you how to, how to say it, what it sounds like. Um, the speak screen that I also showed you in the settings, when you have that on, you can use to, a two finger swipe down from the top. And what happens is um, when you swipe down from the top with two fingers like this, you're gonna get a <clears throat> elephant. From Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, jump to navigation, jump to search. This article is about the living species for extinct relatives, also known as elephants. I'm going to pause it so I can talk. But what happens is it will it will speak the entire screen, so it's going to read you the whole screen, um, which sometimes cannot. It's not really great when you're on a web page because it reads you the web address, it reads you all the little stuff that you would not normally read. The best thing for students to use would be the the speak selection, which are, again, let me go back over that is long press anywhere, drag what you want to be read, and then click speak. Sensitive skin. The trunk, also called a proboscis, is used for breathing, bringing food and water to the mouth, and grasping object. Okay, so while we're here, one of the other things I wanted to show you is if you um, touch on it, well, of course, that word was in blue, so it's automatically, but let's say that I wanted to see what, you know, if I wanted environments, environments to be spoken, that's great. If I wanted to... Um, E-N-V-I-R-O-N-M-E-N-T-S... And then I can also long press it and click look up. So what that does is it actually um, looks the word up in several different online dictionaries. So you can see exactly what it means, what it is. Um, so while I was here, I just wanted to show you that too. So I hope that helps some of you boys and girls um, at home that may need some things read to you. It's called speak selection.